Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, he's next. What you want to do with it? He got a little pretty mouth, ain't he? Oh, my God, right now. Oh! What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another movie reaction. This time, my first time watching 1972's Deliverance. Now, I absolutely know nothing about this movie, and I'm very, very excited to check this one out. This month, it does celebrate its 50th anniversary. But on the other hand, I am very, very intrigued to see what happens in this movie because I did mention it in a recent live chat that I will be checking it out soon. And a lot of you Flix Talkers said, oh my God, you are in for some disturbing stuff. So I'm sure it's gonna lead to some amazing reactions as most of these movies that I have no clue about do. And once again, I'm just very excited to check this film out. So enough talking, let's get to watching. But before we do, if you guys do appreciate my content, let me know by liking the video and consider subscribing today to join the Flix Talk family as I do reactions, live streams, and so much more here on the channel. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's just get directly into my movie reaction, my first time watching 1972's Deliverance. Because they're building a dam across the Kahulawasi River, they're gonna flood a whole valley, Bobby, that's why. Just about the last wild, untamed, unpolluted, unfucked up river in the south. It's a very clean way of making electric power. And those lakes up there provide a lot of people with recreation. I don't give a My shit. You push a little more power into Atlanta, a little more air conditioners for your smug little suburb, and you know what's gonna happen? We're gonna rape this whole goddamn landscape. We're gonna rape it. Extremists. We got a little environmental talk before, before that. We're gonna leave Friday from Atlanta. I'm gonna have you back in your little suburban house in time to see the football game on Sunday afternoon. Are there any hillbillies up there anymore, Lewis? Yeah, there, there's some people up there that ain't never seen a, a town before. This is the last chance we got to see this river. You just wait till you feel that white water under you, Bobby. Okay, so now we got our plot. We got some men that want to see this river for the last time before they work more construction, I believe, on it. Kind of like what they were talking about at the beginning. That's my 51 Dodge. All my youth and passion spent in that backseat. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. See that car there? See that car down there? We want somebody driving down the entry for us. Fill that one up with gas, huh? Okay? I love the way you wear that hat. You don't know nothing. Oh, the interesting response to that interesting question, I guess. <laughs> Young John Boy. Now, we actually saw him at an L.A. restaurant. I don't want to name drop, humble brag, but we did see him in the flesh. Okay, I've definitely seen this scene right here. Yeah, I think we all know that little riff right there. Oh, this boy looks like there's something wrong with him. Like, genetically. I think you understood me. Uh, I want to get some drivers, drive this car, and that car, down to Aintree. You might get a driver, brothers. Where do they live? They live back old that way. And on another note, I haven't seen too many Burt Reynolds movies at all. Pretty much none. So, if you guys can recommend them, down in the comments, what are your favorite Burt Reynolds films? I'd love to know. $4.99. Four ninety nine to fill up that tank. It's six dollars for a gallon of gas right now. I'm sure I'm gonna have to mute this because it's copywritten, but <laughs> it's one of those infectious songs that just makes you wanna hop around like this old man. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Get a little jig going on, huh? And yeah, that made him happy. God damn, you play a mean banjo. Oh my God, everybody looks like, oh Lord. I don't want to guess it, but a lot of them look inbred or genetic mutation. I don't know, shit, bad water. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to guess what it is, but looks like a cruel life. Well, me and my buddy here, we're going to take a canoe trip down to Kahulawasi. We'd like to have them cars and entry when we get there. 
I'll give you $30 to take those cars down the entry. I'll do it for 40 And through inflation, that was like 100 bucks, Probably <laughs> over that. <laughs> now, in all honesty, would you trust not just these people, but anybody with your car <laughs> that you just met a few seconds ago? Money or not? You know about where it is. Yeah, we fucked up. Uh, so I can already tell that Lewis is trying to be the leader. Lewis the leader. And he's big dick swinging for sure. Probably gonna end up messing up that car. Listen. Sometimes you have to lose yourself before you can find anything. <laughs> hmm. Couple more months. She'll all be gone. I like the quick premise that we're thrown into, you know? A group of friends obviously come from the city. Maybe not Lewis, because Lewis is, is acting like he's been there before. Maybe he was raised more country, and he wants to go kind of like on a final hurrah with his friends before this lake is bulldozed over or just kind of worked on by construction. I guess you're going to be with me, Charlie. Get some supplies up there. All right. Come on. These guys know that they're fixing to get into some trouble. Maybe the lake is too dangerous, or maybe there's other people they're going to encounter. Lewis, is this where you get your rocks off? Uh-huh. Let's go. Let's go. See how fast we can shoot this little bush down here. What is this? Is this some fast water we're coming up to? I like that this dialogue seems very fluid. It seems very improvised, not scripted at all. Like they're just all riffing off each other. Like natural conversation. Good. Small part of me wants to do that in my lifetime, but it, uh, uh, the logical part of my brain says, ah, little, even little bunny hills like that can, <laughs> I'll just topple over. <laughs> Pretty haunting. That is beautiful though. That's all them, too. The actor's doing it. That's kind of cool. Go! Go! <laughs> go! 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 Machines are going to fail, and the system's going to fail. Then survival, who has the ability to survive. I like my life, Lewis. Yeah, but why do you go on these trips with me? Yeah. If I can get into the mind of John Voight there, I would think that he's going on these trips with Burt Reynolds' character, Lewis, as an escape. You know, some kind of escape from his mundane life. Yeah, it's a good life. Yeah, you're secure. Yeah, you're living that cookie cutter life, especially in the 70s, you know. We're having a job, a car, a wife, a family. That's important stuff, right? But to get back to nature, to get back to the wild, to get back to that adrenaline rush, I can only imagine, is the thrill that he's seeking from time to time. You don't want to live it forever, but weekend warrior type of situation, I think, is what he's talking about. <laughs> Lewis, does he think he is Tarzan or what? He knows the woods, though. He really does. He Not does. really. He learned them. He doesn't feel them. That's Lewis's problem. He wants to be one with nature, and he can't hack it. I don't know. I thought I heard something. Something or someone? I don't know. And he's nervous. Ah! That quick little scene just added a layer 
to the character right there. I like that. It was not insignificant. I think it adds a lot to not only him, maybe even all the men, including Lewis, because I think Lewis, even though he's a leader, like they had said, he wants to be the survivalist. He wants to be this wilderness man. But is he really? Maybe out of all four of them, he is. But then again, his friends ain't the strongest. <laughs> easy, easy, my man. I got eaten alive last night. My bites have got bites. Robert? I'm a salesman, Ed. Just do me a favor. Don't holler at me. Damn friend of yours screamed at me all day long yesterday. Hell, you son of a bitch. What in the hell are Lewis and Drew doing up there in a way? Probably doing the same thing we are. Oh. Oh, there's a couple of them. Uh-oh. Hunters, you guys better watch out. How goes it? Heading down river. Little yeah. canoe trip. Heading for Aintree. Aintree? You ain't never gonna get down to Aintree. Well, why not? This river don't go to Aintree. You done taking the wrong turn. Look. We, we don't want any trouble here. If you, you gentlemen have a still near here, hell, that's fine with us. We can never tell anybody where it is. Good. Making some whiskey up here. We'll buy some from you. We could use it, couldn't we? Boy, you know what you're talking about? Oh. We don't know Look, what I, you're talking about. No, what we, I, we don't know what uh, you're doing, and we don't care. Quite a long journey ahead of us, gentlemen. Well, just hold it. You ain't Jesus. going no damn world. Where are the friends at, man? Oh, well, gentlemen, we can talk this thing over. What is it you, you require of us? Well. Rob you. Why that you get your goddamn ass up and then move that ass? You take with that weapon you got in your hand. You too. Shut up. Did that guy grab his titty? <laughs> it looked like he squeezed his titty. We want money. We'll take the money back up against the tree. Yeah. He tries that again. Shoot that in there. I'll blow his bad blame balls off. This long shot is haunting, man. Oh. Now let's you just drop them pants. What? Just take them right off. Oh no. Oh. You ever had your balls cut off, you fucking ape? With all that little old bitty shirt there, too. Did he bleed? He bled. <laughs> you done, boy. Go on. Hey, boy. No. You look just like a hog. No. Oh, Biggie. Oh, Biggie. Oh, Biggie. Give me a ride. No, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think this is more disturbing because it's in real time. Like, there's no time elapsing, you know? This is kind of just happening in the scene in real time. Oh. Is this where the stereotype of, like, these crazy hillbilly come from? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. No, 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 no. Uh. Uh. Oh, God. Please. Lewis. Oh, no, 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 no. I've heard that term, pig fucker, too. Oh, no. He's next. He got a little pretty mouth, ain't he? Oh my god, right now. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Shoot that mother. <laughs> Damn, this is a long death. <laughs> wow. Ooh, what a scene. That's why you guys said it was disturbing. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully that's it. What are we gonna do with him? Take the body down to entry. Turn over the highway patrol. They were sexually assaulting two members of our party at gunpoint. Like you said, there was nothing else we could do. You take this man down out of the mountains and turn him over to the sheriff, there's gonna be a trial, all right. Trial by jury. We killed a man, Drew. Shot him in the back. A mountain man. Mm-hmm. Cracker. C Consider, we're listening.
It'll be a jury of his peers, Shit, man. All these people are related. But goddamn, if I want to come back up here and stand trial with this man's aunt and his uncle, maybe his mom and his daddy sitting in the jury box. Mm hmm. It is a matter of the law. The law? <laughs> the law? Where's the law, Drew? You believe in democracy, don't you? Well, then we'll take a vote. Let's bury him. I don't want this getting around. I just think what you're doing, Ed. You've got a wife. You've got a child. This may be the most important decision of your whole life, Ed. Yes, we got to do the right thing, Ed. We're going to have to live with this for the rest of our lives. Right! I'm with Lewis. That, you know what, guys? <laughs> I've seen a lot of cinema, and I've seen a lot of powerful scenes. This scene was so powerful, not just because of what happened, the horrific thing that happened, but the real-time dialogue setting up for their next moral or immoral situation at hand. That was that was some good acting, dialogue, and just everything about that scene was perfection. Like, I got flashbacks to 12 Angry Men. <laughs> I will just say that. <laughs> and that last scene just shifted the whole tone of the rest of the movie. That's about two feet deep, buddy. <laughs> That's going to wash up almost immediately, if not dug up by an animal. I got to say, that is the worst attempt at hiding a body I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the best thing they can hope for is that a bear comes along and eats that thing. <laughs> Uh-oh. That might be foreshadowing. Drew might fall over now and not have his life jacket. Come on now, you don't want another dead body on your hands. <laughs> Drew's just trying to get the hell out of there. <laughs> I don't blame him. Drew! Drew, what's the matter? Don't stop it! Don't hang on to the plan! No, no! What the? Drew! Run, man! Look out! Oh, no! Oh, shit. There goes one of their... Once again, this is the actual actors doing all this. I give it up, man, because I feel like some actors nowadays would just kind of turn their nose up at doing stunts like this. Oh, is he... Is that a bone coming out? I hate broken bones, guys. I hate them. Do a shot, Bobby. Do a shot. Shot? I thought they were saying he was shocked. That other guy. That toothless bastard. Shot him. He's right up there. What? You would have heard a shot. I, I looked at it like the shock just got to him and he kind of just passed out almost. Now you get to play the game. <laughs> well, if he knows where we are, then we sure as hell know where he's going to be. Right up there. I still can't believe... I mean, I can understand they came to that conclusion that he was shot. You would have to hear a gunshot, which I did not hear in my headphones. I don't think that they heard, but they're assuming because of everything going on... God, just gonna free solo it up the side of that mountain, huh? Ugh. Could never do that. I could never do that. All it takes is one little slip and you're done. Uh. Oh, great. I want to say... And I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. I've seen scenes like this in old movies where they give the illusion that it's, you know, dusk or evening time. And they do some kind of effect where it's like almost like a filter, but it's not really, it's not really nighttime. It's still day, but they put some kind of effect on it. Could be wrong, but there's definitely something on this scene right here as far as a filter. That doesn't look nighttime. 
Come on. That does not look like nighttime. That's definitely a filter. Come on. Almost like an inversion effect. Oh, no. Oh, the guy was up there watching him. Oh, or that's not the same guy, I don't think. Or maybe it is the same guy without a hat. Oh, dude, come on. Release. Oh. He spotted you. He spotted you, bro. Oh, he got him. Wait. Oh, no, he fell on his own arrow. Oh, wow. I thought that was the other guy for a second. Oh, we pulled it all the way through. Whoa! I was like, he needs a miracle, but... Now that was a miracle shot, I guess. Give him a couple... Oh, a couple of Jason strikes just for good luck, man. Come on. Oh, it's a different guy, huh? Or... No, it is the same guy. Now, that was the stupidest thing ever. Why would you get rid of the gun? Well, I mean, I guess they can get it when they're down there, but... What if he did tell his friends? What? I know you ain't gonna give this guy a proper burial. <laughs> okay, he's gonna use that to climb down. That weight. Okay. I guess I didn't think ahead like he did. <laughs> I love how they're playing the banjo mu music. <laughs> Did this guy get injured, I wonder? Because he's walking around. He's acting like he got injured or something. I mean, I know his butthole got injured, but <laughs> other than that. That's the guy with the gun, huh? What you tell here? me! He was married. He had a wedding ring. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, is it? His arm's like backwards. Oh, God. How do you even twist your arm up like that? What's your shot? What about here? What about right there? Could have been a rock. Oh, they're going to bury him too? At the bottom of the sea? <laughs> the bottom of the sea. <laughs> the bottom of the lake? You're a wonderful father to your boys, Drew. We come through this, I, I promise. To do all I can for him. He was the best of us. Amen. Hmm. That's sad, man. Even if you didn't know him that well, I mean, could have just been a friend that you, you know, hung out with once in a while. Still, I mean, it's someone that wanted to do the right thing. I understand. He really believed in the judicial system, and you know, Lewis is right though. Things are are different in certain areas. I'm not. Gonna say specifically where. I'm sure you guys can guess. Especially in the 70s, man. Back in time. And he made some fair points, man. I mean, what if that man's family was on trial? Or they were the jury? They're definitely gonna talk bad about these boys. Uh, uh, we made it. Uh, we made it, man. Everything happened right here. Lewis broke his leg in those rapids there. And Drew drowned here. No, in no, this, it... this place. We got to stop them from looking up river. It's important that we, we get together on this thing. I understand, Ed. I understand. Hey, don't get mad at Ed, man. Ed's just trying to get his story straight with all of y'all. <laughs> and that's the most important thing, is that you all need to be on the same page when it comes to your story. I know tensions are flying high. You know, there's a lot of adrenaline going through you. You made it to the end destination, it seems like. But... If you are questioned, and you are going to be questioned by somebody, y'all got to have your story straight. That's where a lot of these guys trip up. And in the end, it looks like Ed is the one that's kind of stepping up to be, you know, kind of come into his own, you know, and be a little more confident and be a little more of a, of a leader, I guess, how Lewis was before he broke his leg. Because Lewis is crying like a little <laughs> right now, <laughs> understandably. I mean, he has a broken bone, so not faulting him for that. But Ed is definitely stepping up in their time of need. And that's good to see the growth, the progression of a character. He's got his head right in his ass. 
There's our cars, man. You come for the cars, sir? Yes. Uh, You're gonna be all right. Uh, What's the world happen to you guys? Uh, Get that story straight, buddy. Get that story straight. Oh, hello. Come on in. Would you like some peas? Why am I still feeling like unease right now? Like <laughs> I shouldn't be because it's like, oh man. Corn is special, isn't it? I love good corn. I love good corn. <laughs> Break that silence. We can show you the place. You know, I know where you told me it was. Well, well I, I'd appreciate it if you show me that spot. Oh, no. I knew it. This wasn't the end. Something ain't right. Oh. Found the other piece of the canoe. I heard you. I was in that room, Bobby. What'd you tell him? They found part of the green canoe, didn't they, Bobby? Upstream, and you got scared. You told the truth, didn't you, Bobby? You told the truth. I didn't do that! I told them, like we said. But I don't think they believed me. Ed, I think they found that other canoe. Upstream. Above where we told them. Oh, shit, now. I know what I said. Yeah, well, that's a goddamn lie. Mr. Queen's got a brother-in-law. Back up in there somewhere. Nobody's heard from him since. Shit. And uh, Mr. Queen thought maybe all might have happened up on him somewhere. He's right. All these boys are related. Let's just wait and see what comes out of the river. Oh, damn. Man. Look, we're doing everything we can for him, but there's a chance that he might lose that leg. So oh. take it easy on him, okay? I'll talk with you later. Damn. Lewis, listen. We had to change our story. How you feeling? Never better. What happened on the last set of rapids? I don't remember nothing. The ground boys broke, brought these cars down to you from Ori, is that right? Right. Did you happen to see another man with them up there? There was someone, wasn't there? I, I think so, yes. How come y'all really end up with four life jackets? Didn't we have an extra one? No. Drew wasn't wearing his. Well, how come he... he wasn't wearing it? I don't know. Don't come back up here. Mm. You don't have to worry about that, Sheriff. I'd like to see this town die peacefully. This sheriff knows something's up, but he has no evidence to put a case to it. Wow, what an ending. And it looks like these boys are going to get away with it. Goodbye, Ed. Bye, Bobby. I don't think I'll see you for a while. Oh, wow. They had a cemetery right... Wait a minute. Oh, no, it looks like they have some headstones, so that's where the cemetery was. Ooh, that's even creepier. No! <laughs> if they would have just ended on that hand coming up, I would have been like, this is a epic. That was that Jason Voorhees ending right there. Wow. Wait a minute. We ain't done. Okay, and that was 1972's Deliverance. Alright guys, now believe it or not, I actually really enjoyed that movie. I thought it was a quality project. It had tension, it had drama, it had some really great acting and action scenes along the way. Yeah, we had some disturbing nature, which I think is probably what people are thinking of, or it definitely does stick in the back of their brain after watching this film. And I will say, I think 
probably because I'm traumatized just from seeing all of this stuff over the last couple of decades with the sick media that I do watch, guys. But that scene wasn't as bad as I thought, though it was a very, very traumatic scene, and it definitely shifted the tension once again, and it placed our men into a awkward situation of what do we do next, and how do we get out of this nature that we've succumbed to? And that being said, I thought this was an awesome man versus nature film, and I've seen a couple in my day. And one thing I really have to remark on is usually you'll see stunt doubles along the way when it comes to river rapid scenes like I've seen in this movie. And these ones weren't crazy, crazy extreme. I totally understand that. What pops in my head first and foremost is the River Wild, the great, great movie, which is also something that has to do with canoes on the river and insane situations as well. But this one right here, even though it was toned down a little bit from that movie, I really did appreciate the fact that the actors or most of the actors really were in that water, really just kind of flipping and flopping around in that fast paced water with all those rocks around. I mean, it leaves so much room for error. So once again, kudos to the actors involved. But I think overall as a whole, I really did enjoy this movie, guys. I don't want to make my review too long. So I think I'm going to give Deliverance a solid four out of five. I was kind of on the fence with what I was going to give this movie because of the subject nature. It definitely doesn't have rewatch value for me. I would probably watch this alongside someone that hasn't seen this movie because once again, that squeal, piggy squeal scene wasn't as crazy as I think everyone was making it theme when they told me not to watch this movie because of the disturbing nature but personally solo i'm probably not going to watch this movie again all right flix talkers what do you think of deliverance what do you rank it out of five let me know down in the comments below and let me know what burt reynolds movies should i be checking out next or john voight for that reason once again leave it in the comments below i would love to hear your thoughts and if you guys did like my reaction and review for deliverance let me know by liking the video and consider subscribing today to join the flix talk family as i do reactions live streams and so much more here on the channel all right guys till next video. I'm gone. Peace.